Hey everyone, I'm making this video today because it seems like it's became a hot topic on the Facebook pages related to Kubota tractors. Um, it could be other tractors too because it's they're all similarly designed, but I follow the Kubota one so this is what I know. It seems in like the four-wheel drive front case, a lot of people are noticing that they have low on fluid significantly. And according to the manual on my 2501 here, in the daily check, it doesn't say that you're supposed to be checking that on a daily basis. Um, there's not a dipstick to check it. I'm gonna show you how to check it in a minute. And uh, if I'm low, I'm gonna top it off with Super UDT2. The manual states for the front four-wheel drive case in this, you could use the Super UDT2 or 8590 gear oil. Um, I figured they probably use the Super UDT2 from the factory, so that's what I'm gonna stick with topping it off. And it's actually also a little bit cheaper than the gear oil if you're not buying a ton of it. So as far as maintenance on this goes, it states to change the oil every 800 hours. And I'm not sure where I'm at. I have less than 100 hours on this tractor right now, I believe. So if I am low on fluid like everybody has, going 800 hours is a little excessive in my opinion. So it's a good idea to check it out and see what you're working with. So right here, what we're going to refer to as the passenger side of the tractor. This is going to be the fill plug right here. And we're going to have to open this up. And then the other side is going to be the check plug. Got to use a 27 millimeter, but you don't need to use a wrench for it. You could go with a, uh, just an adjustable wrench would be fine. Good. Right here, what we can refer to as the driver's side that you'll actually get on and off the tractor. You can use a 14 millimeter. And this little nut is going to come out, this little bolt here is going to come out, and that's going to be your fill plug. So as of right now, I don't know how much fluid is actually in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a funnel in the fill side, fill it up with UDT, and we'll see how much uh, it takes to fill it up and come out that fill plug. So I'm not sure how much is actually in there right now. Nothing's coming out, so I know it's right not at the fill. So I'm gonna be pouring super UDT into the fill plug, and I'm gonna stop when it comes out the drain plug, then I'll know it's good. And so far, this has taken quite a bit more than I was expecting it to. Try not to spill it like I do. And still nothing. And now we're just starting to get a slow drip coming out of there. Um, I think I maybe put a little more than I needed, but like I said, you can't overfill it. And uh, it's a little cold out, so the viscosity is a little, little slow in the stuff. But uh, yeah, it took quite a bit. I'm just gonna let that keep dripping until it's where it needs to be. I'm gonna level slab. After you've let that dripped out a little bit, put your plugs back in, snug them up. You don't have to go over tight with it. So in the end, I ended up having to add about a little over two quarts. I didn't measure, but that's what it seemed like, about a one gallon thing of the Super UDT2. Um, I think that's a little bit excessive, and I think I know why this is happening to all these tractors. I talked with Ben Kennedy about it from uh, K&H Tractors. If you're not watching him yet, you probably should. He's a great guy. But uh, he had mentioned that his BX tractor had came significantly low from the factory. And I think it's, uh, looking at the manual, it says at 800 hours through the change on the, the front case here. And it, uh, it says to fill it up until it comes out the plug. And then you got to operate the tractor for a few minutes to get everything moving. And I think the dealers are just filling them up till it comes out, plugging it back up and saying good to go. So if you have, even if it's a brand new tractor, check it. If you got 
50 hours, 100 hours, couple hundred hours on it, check it. It can't hurt to check and uh, that's not something you want to drive around with being low, um, especially since the manual doesn't tell you to do a daily check on that or to change it at a, you know, lower hours. So you might drive around for 800 hours and not even know. So I appreciate everybody watching this and uh, if your tractor is low on oil in there, hopefully you can get it taken care of. Um, if you don't mind, please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks everybody.